Backstory is that my SP who I now manifested back, broke up with me about two months ago. At that time, I was heartbroken and found myself sobbing. Our actual relationship was good for a long time, but I created a negative situation by dropping into a low self-concept and allowing my insecurities to rule myself and our relationship. I also had exams, which I did well on despite my emotional state during the time, so for about two weeks I was not applying any of this strictly. After two weeks, I came across Dylan James on YouTube, which then led me down the Neville Goddard and Law of Assumption pipeline. I had heard of it before, but I was always hesitant in trying it since I was first introduced to Law of Attraction. However, feeling like I had nothing left to lose, I began to give it a try. I started out by initially working on myself to get my specific person back. I listened to affirmation recordings at night and I stabilized myself with meditations, breathing, and affirmations during the daytime when I would get triggered. I knew I did not want to burn myself out, so I did not do constant affirming, only when my mind would go in a direction that was not conducive to my creation. For the first two weeks of this, I could feel my subconscious mind purging my fears and playing back old core beliefs. To me, it felt like waves. In the beginning, my state of being fluctuated heavily and there were moments where I even doubted in manifestation. However, a deeper part of myself told me to persist and during this time I unintentionally went on a mental diet. I deleted social media and only listened to songs that helped me feel inspired. I asked myself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis how I felt, and if I didn't feel good, I did anything in my power to satisfy myself. Sometimes this meant simply cleaning my living space, but by following my happiness regularly, I was able to listen strongly to my desires and slowly, I began to feel more happy. By June, I would say I was about 50% stable. However, each morning, I would wake up and allow my mind to go to the problem. I found myself remembering issues with my SP and dipping into my fears. And unintentionally, I was preventing myself from living in the end state. To handle this, I began to meditate and in the meditative state, I imagined myself wiping away these past memories, similar to revision, but I don't prefer revision so instead I imagined myself cleaning a whiteboard and creating a beautiful, blank slate for myself. After doing this for a few days, I realized that my SP was a simple byproduct of my self-concept, which everyone says, but I had never truly internalized it until this point. This is when the true shift occurred, and I realized that I was the operant power of my reality. Rather than focusing on my SP, I focused on the identity I would assume if I was in my perfect relationship with my SP fairly quickly, my self-worth and self-trust skyrocketed. Naturally, I was able to persist with whatever the 3D showed me because I knew what I was creating, and I knew that I had transcended. I had embodied the end state. After two weeks of doing this, mid-June, I began to get intuitive hits that would have not made sense if I had given the 3D full power. For example, I felt a very strong urge to go to a jewelry store and buy us matching bracelets despite being in no contact. When the woman asked who it was for, very naturally, I said it was for me and my partner. At this time, I began to get other confirmation of my 3D conforming. For example, I went to go purchase a new MacBook and I had a very specific desire, MacBook Air, M2 chip, 16GB RAM, 512GB SSD, Color Midnight. When I went to the store, they told me they had no more of those models but they had a 256GB SSD. Rather than settling, I asked kindly if they would check in the back for me. Lo and behold, someone had returned the exact model I wanted that morning because they wanted a pro instead. It was even marked down because the computer had been returned, and I'm actually typing this post on that computer right now. I began to feel very confident in my manifestation ability, and with ease, I found myself materializing more little desires, example, wanting to see a red convertible and I saw 12 in one day. Then on June 18th, my SP texted me after over a month of no contact. We talked and agreed to leave things ambiguous but leaning towards friends. That weekend, we agreed to hang out. 
In my mind, I simply laughed off the friend comment and almost completely ignored that. I think an actual thought I had was let's see how long that lasts. Fast forward to us hanging out, and we hang out for five full hours. We hug, cuddle, hold hands, and do everything except kiss. We also discussed why our previous relationship did not work, and we were both vulnerable and took accountability. The next night, we call and discuss what just happened, and we agree there are obviously romantic feelings still there. Over the next week, our conversations get longer, deeper, and more vulnerable. I was also shocked at this point because he was parroting exact phrases I had affirmed for, example, he called me his favorite prize, said whenever and wherever we were meant to be together. At this point, we have about eight future dates scheduled. He visits me at work, blows up my phone, brings me presents, and has truly done a complete 180 from when our relationship ended. Saying he was uninterested, etc. In our new dynamic, I find myself being less clingy, more trusting, and truly believing in my creation. As of today, we are officially dating once again. Keep in mind, during this entire process, even when I felt confident, there were multiple moments when I found myself emotionally triggered. However, I took a break each time and reeled myself in, then affirmed for my current self-concept and reminded myself how this situation was going. I had a few days where I sobbed and definitely experienced resistance, but I accepted those feelings. Remember, you are human and emotions are allowed to come up and be purged. Simply remind yourself of your core beliefs and identity. This time during any triggering situations with SP, I reacted differently than I would have in the past because I felt differently than I did in the past. And SP reflected this change back to me instantaneously. I found out he has also been going to therapy for the two months we were not dating and his own self-image and confidence has improved. For me, the missing piece to truly materializing my desire was putting full faith and trust in myself and my ability. It was more of an exercise in self-trust than anything else, which naturally put me in the end state and led to detachment from outcomes. Right now, I am feeling very happy and fulfilled, but not surprised. Remember that you know what you are doing and creating. You have got this. Total time, 2 months. Total time after living in the end, 22 days.